In this problem, we're going to connect and relate two equations, one from chapter 19 and one from chapter 20 here. Uh, both equations solve for delta G, Gibbs free energy, uh, but we're going to set them equal to each other. So in this problem, we want to use the electrode potentials, okay, so the reference table with the reduction potentials, to calculate K, the equilibrium constant for the oxidation of iron by hydrogen, okay? It'll be the standard temperature, you know, the 298.15, the, or the 25 Celsius, the standard temperature. Okay? Here's our reaction, the two iron solids plus the 6H plus yields the two uh, Fe3 pluses and the three hydrogen gas. Now remember, spectator ions have been eliminated. Okay, first thing we do, we can take delta G equals negative RT ln of K, and that also equals negative NFE of cell. Let's set those two equal to one another because both of them solve for Gibbs free energy. Set those equal to one another and then rearrange so that we can isolate and solve for E of cell. So we can get the reduction uh, potential also from the table and um, we'll be able to find how many volts uh, this redox reaction will uh, generate. Let's take those and go ahead and simplify. Again, so we're going to simplify it out. I have R, T, and F are standard values, constant values. So we substitute those in, reduce down, simplify it to E of cell is equal to 0 0.0592 volts divided by N log of K. Remember that N is the moles of electrons involved in this redox process. We have our two half reactions there. And we've gone to the reduction potentials reference table to get the E values. We've got a negative 0 0.036 volts and a zero volts for our two half reactions. Remember that the one in, that is more positive, more positive is the cathode, is the reduction site, and the other by default becomes the oxidation at the anode. So our E of cell, zero volts minus a negative 0 0.036 volts. So we get a positive E of cell. Remember that will tell us it's a spontaneous process we can substitute that in and have 0 0.036 volts equal to 0 0.0592 divided by 6 log of K. Remember that 6 is the moles of electrons coming through this process. One of our half reactions has 3, one has 2 moles of electrons. The common multiple common denominator is 6. And so we solve out log of K and then isolate the K, and we get uh, 4,453. If we round that to two sig figs, it'd be 4,500 uh, would be our K, our equilibrium constant value. Now, when K is greater than one, when K is greater than one, then your Gibbs free energy value is going to be negative, and your E of cell is going to be positive, okay? Those two values will uh, relate to the spontaneity of the reaction. When delta G is negative, it's spontaneous. When E of cell is positive, it is spontaneous. So this process is spontaneous.